Hi guys, thank you for coming back for another story time with the author. Today we'll be reading uh, about a book on the subject of mental toughness. We're going to, it's a three part series, how to win in pajamas. And today it's going to be how to win the World Cup in pajamas. If you play soccer, you know the World Cup is the biggest tournament in the world that you can win. So many people have this goal and they aspire to win this tournament or play in this tournament. So I'm very excited to share with you this story. It is the bestseller in the Grow Grit series. Uh, it was also written, co-written by my son, Kobe Nen. I am so proud of him. Uh, many of you know his story. He started out as a competitive tennis player uh, playing on the USTA and the national circuit. Um, when he was younger, he won a lot. And then as he progressed and as he got older, things became more difficult as um, some of his peers outgrew him. Um, in tennis, there's this uh, game at the end where if it's tied, it's called a super tiebreaker. And uh, at one point he was losing every super tie breaker because the super tie breakers go to 10 points. And if whoever gets to 10 by two first wins the whole match, even if the sets were split in between the opponents. So what he learned was what it came down to in these super tie breakers was uh, the mental toughness or grit that a player had. And so he began to do a lot of research and um, he worked with a, a mental toughness coach and he really worked on this part of the game because in any sport, there are three parts to really achieving success and becoming the best that you can be. Uh, one part is technical skills. You have to have the technical skills, whether that's soccer, tennis, swimming. Um, you also have, the, have to have the physical skills, which means the endurance, the stamina, the physical fitness to withstand hours and hours of play. Um, and then the third component of the holy trinity of mental, of succeeding in a sport is the mental toughness and grit. So this is the first series of its kind for kids um, to, to help them develop mental toughness and grit. It is a field in which um, many, many people and researchers are really focusing on now because they found out that we only use like 2% of our brain. So this field of the, of the whole mental health, mental fitness, um, emotional intelligence is blowing up. And so let's go ahead and read our story because that's why we're here. Um, I'm very excited about it. So let me turn off my virtual background and we'll get started. All right, how to win the World Cup in pajamas by Kobe Nin and Mary Nin. Illustrations by Maluna Solari. All right, so my son Kobe wrote a letter, wrote a foreword. Dear reader, our hope is that these tools help you in becoming the best version of you. We all struggle with obstacles, but if we know the skill set which attacks adversity, then we stand a better chance of reaching our highest dreams. Sincerely, Kobe Nin. This book is dedicated to kids all over the world who would like to develop their mental toughness and grit. Hi, my name is Emma. The World Cup is very hard to win, but I've won it many times in my pajamas. So this part means she's going to be doing visualization this whole time. So visualization is a 
big, big tool in developing mental toughness and grit and reaching your goals. So basically what it is, is you just close your eyes and you imagine yourself doing these things, um, using these tools and um, you can even do it at night in your pajamas. So that's what Kobe used to do uh, right before bed. He would visualize his performance and visualize how he would, res would re respond to certain uh, scenarios that could happen in the tournament the next day. And that's why I'm giving you five tools on how to win the World Cup in pajamas. Tool one, work on developing grit. Winning the World Cup starts years before the actual championship. Write down some goals. This keeps you motivated. Then practice, practice, practice. And when the going gets tough, reach within to find your inner strength. Tool two, it's good to perform your usual rituals. The morning of the World Cup, be sure to eat your regular breakfast. Going outside to play can help keep your mind relaxed. This makes you comfortable and boosts your confidence. Tool three, walk to your backyard or driveway and visualize the field. Smell the turf below your feet. Dribble the ball down the field. Feel it, listen to ev your every command. If you make mistakes, no worries. Stay carefree by focusing on your performance and not the outcome. Use mantras like work hard or right here. Take some deep breaths like a dragon and think of your strategy for the next pass. Doing this helps keeps you focused. Tool five, keep up the positive body language. Bounce up and down on your toes, stay confident and upbeat, have a good posture. Now fire past your opponents and take your shot. Watch it curl in. Can you hear the crowd roar? Relish in your newfound victory. Thank those who have helped you. If you think of any more tools, write them down. I'm going to get ready for soccer practice. The end. So at the back of this book, there is a mental toughness growth plan uh, to help you develop positive self-talk, your own rituals, and positive mantras. And then at the very end, uh, you can also work on your goals. So I hope you liked this book that my son and I wrote. Uh, I sure do like her Emma and the story that she presents um, and also the tools that she provides and shares with us so that we can help uh, build and increase our mental toughness and grit and that is it. So I will see you next time for story time with the author. Bye.